Hey guys, I want to talk about the temporary dimensions and editing their settings. It's pretty easy to do so, and for those who aren't familiar with it, when you place an item into a model, you'll see these blue dimension lines, and these are temporary. You can make them permanent when you place the item. You can come over here to the dimension line, press that, and it's going to turn it into a, a permanent uh, dimension. But let's say uh, generally we're not going from the center line of the walls when we're trying to place items. We want the uh, exterior of those walls and we want to just focus on using uh, uh, dimensions of the faces and not have to get in there and, and move them. So, you know, for example, say if we want the faces, we would have to come over here after we place it and then grab it and then tab into the face of the wall come here tab into it okay we have it and then we can come in here and edit it say that's supposed to be 12 this is supposed to be 12 enter and now it's moved and let's say we want one of these to be a permanent one we can exit out okay that it's nice it's there um, but say our primary usage is uh, with dimensions is measuring off the face of the wall it's pretty simple to edit that and make it start from that point if we come here into manage and additional settings press that down here we have the temporary dimensions button and we have some settings for walls and then we have some settings for door and windows so we change this to face and I'm gonna click this item and just do CS for crate similar and we can see now that the temporary dimensions are off the face of the wall and if we want to grab them and let's say we can say for whatever the reasons are we want that to be the center we can move it back into it um, but it's really whatever the best use case is for you what are you primarily using that settings there so that um, you can make those temporary dimensions as effective as possible so really reducing the overall time you are messing with getting things to you know line up in specific ways so as you saw there's also ones for doors and windows so we'll take a look at those they operate in the same way so I'm gonna press the door command or I can come up here into the architecture tab and click door I've loaded a door into this so the project I have open is a a blank project. I drew some walls in there and placed some doors so that I can just show this. So really any project will work. Um, if you do open up a, a blank project that isn't started from a template with loaded uh, door doors, just load some door families. And you can see right now the temporary dimensions are off the faces of the walls and then they're going to the center line of the door say that's not it and we want to do it from the openings of the door or window we can again go back into uh, the manage tab and on the settings panel click the additional settings button and down here temporary dimensions button we can change it to openings go back into that door command by pressing DR as the keyboard shortcut and when I place on it now those dimensions from the face of the wall are going to the the start of the <clears throat> opening of the door or window so uh, that's about it really it's a pretty simple uh, setting but it can definitely help you out when you're placing items and you just want to quickly get them to line up correctly you know you can you can place it update them and not have to worry about moving them as much so I hope this helps uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.